Hey, good morning. We are going to review the 7.2 in Word classroom rules. So here in Schoology, here are the instructions. Here is 7.2 classroom rules. We're going to work with formatting headers and footers. We're also going to look at using a signature line and page breaks. So it's very similar to what we've done in the past. Just kind of building on that. Okay, so we are going to start. Normally, you would give here's the instructions. Here's what we're going to type in. And then here's what it's going to look like. So we're going to put in some formatting and then break it up into two pages and have some um, lines here. So there are a few steps you have to do before you start typing in. So I'm going to do those with you. So it looks like step one through uh, seven need to be done before you start typing. So I'm going to open up a blank document first to show you what to do. Okay, so step, so I'm going to save this as 7.2 classroom rules. Step three says from the insert tab right here. Okay, insert a header with blank, and select blank. So I'm gonna go into header, blank. Okay, and it says key in the text student contract. So I'll put in student. Okay, um, then from the header footer tools design tab. So here's header footer tools design tab. Uh, it says, Place your cursor after the text student contract, which is where it is, in the header and, and tab key. Hit the cat, tab key two times, so one, two, and then click date and times so right there. And then it says choose the third option. So I'm going to choose this one. Hit OK. And that automatically puts my date up there. OK, now it says from the header and footer tools design tab. So I'm still here. Um, Please is insert the page number. So I'm going to go over here to page number. Okay, and it says I'm going to do it at the bottom of the page. So bottom of the page, and I need the bold three in the footer. So I'm going to go down here to here it is. Let's see where's bold. I pass it. Page simple. Here it is, bold three right there. Bold number three in the footer. Okay, that's done. And then I'm going to close the header and footer page here. And then I'm going to change my line spacing, this icon right here, to it says change it to single space. So it should be on one. And if I do it again, it say no additional space before or after paragraph. So I'm going to say remove space after paragraph. Okay, and then then it says figure put in the then do the typing. Okay, so now you would do the typing that is shown on here which is right here so you would type all this in the only watch out is that no proxies is part of the same paragraph as use of internet just to watch that that's from use of internet down to internet is one paragraph use hard returns so where the lines where the line carries over to the next line just let the computer program do that and all of these when you're hitting return it's a hard return so just hit enter that's going to be key as you do this Okay, so I have the, I have typed everything in, so I've got it like this, so I'm going to show you how to do everything. So step nine says from the insert tab page groups, so insert tab, here's my page group. Place your cursor at the beginning of the confirmation class, so right here, and then hit page break. So I'm going to hit page break. So now it's created, so my header and my footer are automatically carried over to the next page. So I've done that. Now I want to put the, um, from the insert tab, text group, do the following. So text is over here, the signature here. Place your cursor between the confirmation of class rule section and the no cheating section, so right here. Then from the signature line, I'm gonna do, apply a signature line, I'm gonna do the Microsoft Office signature line. And here's where I can put in my, so I'm gonna, so I put in the suggest designer, so I'm gonna put in Mr. Terrell, and I'm gonna say my title is teacher, you just put your name and student. So I hit OK, and it's automatically going to insert there. Then I'm going to go at the end of the no cheating policy. I'm going to hit Enter. And then I have to do another signature line. So I'm going to do signature line there. Do the same thing. I'll put Mr. Terrell. I'll put Teacher. Hit OK. And there we go. So I've got my two signature lines. And it says make the following formatting changes. So apply bullets to the instruction section. So here's the instruction section. So I'm going to highlight everything. We'll go back to my home. I'm going to hit the bullets. So automatically put bullets in there. Center align the text class rules and change the font 
to 24. So then let's take this. I'm going to say center align. So center, change it to 24. That is right there. Okay. And then apply numbering to the class rules section. So I'm going to highlight all of these. I'll just click on my number right here. So it automatically numbers it based on where my hard returns are. Italicize the confirmation class rules section, including titles. So that's down here. So I'm going to highlight all these. Oops. And it says italicize, including the title. So that's that. And then it um, looks like I will underline the no cheat policy section. So I'm going to underline this. Looks like I made a spelling error here. So I'll change that. And proofread your documents. So let's see how it looks. So, so I've got this. Yep, everything looks right. And my heading and instructions is the same. Okay, so that is the way. That, so that is your final document. So you just save that and submit those via Schoology. And let me know if any questions. Thanks.